I didn't really know a lot at the time when, when it first introduced me to the opportunity. But what I know now, Huddersfield just is just super rich in history. I mean, really, just not just history locally, but history worldwide. But you've got a lot of people with a lot of pride. It's a working class community. It's much like I related to growing up as a kid. But at the same time, they've got a pride about, you know, their, their football club. And it's my intent to continue to move that on down the field. Another six miles. Six miles. So what's on the agenda today? Today, there's just so much to get done. We've not been approved. Can't really move forward very much. I'm excited to get it done, but also I'm really probably impatient. It's been really quite a challenge. I mean, we want to hurry up and get ours completed so we can move and start the process because we're going to be really behind on a lot of things. I mean, <clears throat> but you know, we've got We've got to wrap up the coaching issue, or the managing issue. We've got By to the way, how is that going? Well, I mean, I'll, I'll say this much. Um, I think we're going to get Neil Warnock for another year. That'd be phenomenal. Are you kidding me? I thought he was in retirement. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was the whole plan. But I think that, you know, we had a chance to talk to Neil. Um, I think he was so reinvigorated by, by just the tremendous job that he did um, that he thinks he's got another year. There's a plus and a minus. Um, because he, we know it would only be probably one year. We'll, we're going to know in the next few days. We're, we're negotiating those terms out. I'm not sure how you find the time, but how's that going? Public? Oh, I mean, you've seen it. They're, they're doing phenomenal so I know. far. This is a year I really feel the team could be special. I always say that every year. I mean, uh, here we are. We're, you know, what, two and a half months into the season at the top of the table, um, playing really well. Mark has just done a spectacular job. I feel actually really good about this club this year. Jake, can you hear us? Uh, yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, yeah. good. First of all, congratulations. You know, we're going to obviously be making the announcement for you, uh, you know, in the next couple of days. I'm really excited by that. Appreciate, uh, appreciate the sentiment and uh, I'm looking forward to, to getting going and working with you and, and getting going on the project with the club. It's very exciting. It's been a long time coming. The second thing, as you, as you yeah. also may know, is we've been working on Neil's uh, contract. It looks like that's, that's going to become a reality. I think those last couple of points, I think that we've been working out, you, you, you're aware of them? Um, absolutely. You know, this is about you know, the next couple of years, the journey we're going to go on. Um, Neil, Neil's not going to come on that journey. He's admitted as much. So I've got to uh, get going right away on, on succession planning. And we'll be ready for whenever that moment is. Um, got it. I'm okay. Sit down and work with him on that. Um, great news. I'm glad you got the uh, deal over the line with Neil. I know you're spending a lot of time on that. There's lots to do, but the wheels are in motion from a, you know the personal point of view, the family and the moves. So uh, loads to do there. But but now we know we've got this uh, over the line, so I can get working on that. You got it. Well, you've got a couple of personnel moves that you've got to make. You know, with the existing club right now. I know that'll happen in the next uh, couple of days as we start to you know, formulate who we are and, you know, what the future is going to look like. Um, Michael, you have any other thoughts? No, Jake, just whatever I can do on the interim as you transition over a uh, family or even uh, at Huddersfield, just let me know. More than happy to help. Thanks, Michael. Appreciate it. Look forward to having you go over there too soon. Meet with the staff on Tuesday, introduce myself, yourself, the vision, who we're going to be. And, and I'm going to look forward to hosting you both when you can, uh, when you can get over in the very near future. Congratulations again. And um, we know that this is we're going to be hearing a lot from each other for the, for the foreseeable future. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Mike. Cheers. You bet. When Kevin came in, Dean said, would you see yourself, please, staying on just to give us a bit of base so we haven't got to worry about that. Now, I know I've signed a year's contract, but it doesn't mean I'm going to be here a year. But I just felt to give him a chance of, of getting the feet under the table and seeing what needs to do 
um, that it would be the best thing to do, really. Dave, how are you? Good. You just heard from him. Well, that's fantastic. All right, we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, thank you, I know you've been working hard to try to get this done. I'll, I'll call Michael, we'll get things all wired up. Thanks, all right, we'll be in touch with you a little bit later. Bye. <laughs> wow, it's real. Michael, just heard from Dave Baldwin. Deal just closed. Is it really? <laughs> yeah, it just happened. Um, I'll be in the office in a couple hours, and so we've got a lot of work ahead of us. Yeah, and holy smokes, all right. <laughs> it's real. Hey, a lot of, you did a lot of the heavy lifting. I really appreciate it, Michael. I'm totally excited about where this venture takes us. Totally, me too. All right, God bless, man. Nice we'll see you. Yeah, Bye. See you. Bye. I was ready for that phone call. There's no looking back. There's no canceling the contract. It's, we gotta go, man. This is a year of transition. And it's gonna, it's gonna be a year of probably discomfort for some people, but there's gonna be a change and it's gonna be progressive change for the good. You know, we're gonna make some mistakes along the way, but that's okay, we're gonna adjust as well. Again, we go the long game and we're gonna be just fine. What is it, it's 10.32 in the morning, but it's 2.32 in the morning. And I don't think pretty much any of us slept, so I don't think there's gonna be any sleep, man. I think it's go time. Did you sleep at all? No. I, I did. Massive moment in the history of the club. This club is 110 years old plus. We've never had an owner who isn't from the UK before. If you don't enjoy these days and, and these couple of days we've had, then you're in the wrong industry, you're in the wrong job. Kevin's made it enjoyable. You couldn't write the script more perfectly for someone that would totally understand Huddersfield as an area and Huddersfield Town as a football club. All through the process, you're kind of pinching yourself, thinking this is a bit too good to be true, but we're now sat here, you're all here, Kevin's here, and he's not just talking the talk, he's walking the walk, and so at this point, you have to believe. You know, There's, there's no other option, and it, 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 it is brilliant. It does feel like a, a perfect fit. Thank you. Really good you. DTS, good to see you, my How man. How are you doing, sir? You okay? Yeah, good. Are good you resting from your holiday? Yeah, just about, thank you. Yeah. So we're married 10 yeah. years, so that's uh, Is that what it was? Yeah, absolutely. When there's this fresh impetus at the top level, you can't help but be excited. I think the fans are excited for a new beginning. Um, and we've got two top operators in the top two positions. It's incredible that we kind of reached the position we have, but I'm so glad we did because this is the best possible outcome for this football club, to be stood here now with Kevin Nagel as the owner. Hello, how is everybody? I'm really, really excited to be here, and hopefully you are as well. I think, you know, it, when you read and you look at the great tradition of, you know, the club that you guys work for, it's hard almost any place in the world to really see um, that kind of history. When I got involved in this process of evaluating an opportunity, it instantaneously sort of hit me. So I'm really excited to be here. I think we can make a lot of changes, I think that are gonna be really great for the organization. I would say this much, we wanna own this 100%. There's, there's some political issues, as you know, that you have to undergo to make that happen. To me, the stadium is two things. It's a location where our clubs can play and really should have a real high quality pitch with first class facilities. The second, it really should be a community asset. It should be asked that the community can come here and see concerts and other events and other activities 
that everyone can enjoy, even if they maybe don't love football. And we're going to be investing a lot more on the academy side. To me, that's something that we just absolutely have to do. I think if you look at the long-term strategy of being successful, you have to build an infrastructure that includes that. Now, if you guys want to come up here, I'll be here for the next 10 minutes or so. So love to talk to you. Thank you. God bless. <clears throat>
there are certain big moments that attract a much bigger audience than we do for regular things. So we've got national TV there, more regional TVs, newspapers, radio outlets. It's a big, big day and it, it's a big moment for Kevin to make a good first impression. But also that's the first time that many of our fans will also see Kevin in action. It's the first time they really get to see him talking about Huddersfield Town, the, the why he's here, the, what his plans are for the future. Here we go. You shouldn't judge people on first impressions, but everyone does. How are you doing, Jens? You got my time? I have got your time. Good, good morning. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, you too. How are you doing, Dave? How are you? Okay. Good to see you. This is a proper official. This is, this is. Yeah. So there you go. Oh, look at that. Three stars right yeah, there. Yeah, three stars. Look at that. That's yeah. fantastic. We've got to look the part, haven't we? Yeah, absolutely. I can't tell you it's going to be down here. It's going to be auction or something like that. If you buy a couple of things. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. Good afternoon, everybody. Fantastic. Afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today as we uh, unveil Kevin Nagel officially as the, the club's new owner. So I'm going to hand over to Kevin just to say a few remarks and then we're, we're going to start with Kirsty from Sky Sports News in the room. So, Kevin, over to you. Good afternoon, everyone. It is my great honour and privilege to be here before you today. Over the last few months, through this process, I've done my best to become a student of Huddersfield from the town to the traditions to the people. One thing I already know, these supporters deserve a club that they can be proud of. I'm not the one to overpromise, but I can tell you that I'll do everything that we can to put our best foot forward to a team that you can be proud of. Oh, you're in this moment in time now in the transfer window where I'm seeing this team spend 10 million and this team 5 million, 3 million on this player, etc. Why aren't we doing that? So Kevin has come in already, he's already investing millions and millions to cover those losses and then as we put the sort of operational business plan together to stay within those constraints um, that we have in the football league while also very much recognizing we've got to be competitive on the field and finally i'd like to take a moment to recognize and thank our brilliant supporters i have had so much fun in our limited interactions on social media i can feel the passion and desire you all have the way across the pond and I sincerely appreciate your suggestions as well. We'll always do our best to not just listen, but to hear you as well, and try to make everything not just the play on the pitch, but from the grounds to the food and beverage and everything in between, something you'll always be proud of. Look, here's the thing about business. If you are gonna be successful, there's, there's, there's only so many X's and O's, you know, and absolutes, and then at a certain point, there's going to be a little bit of a risk. We probably took a little bit more risk here, but I saw what had already been done in the past. If, if you can get there, you can stay there. We just have to figure how we're going to stay there. Why wouldn't that be my ambition? He's very good at compartmentalizing the moment and executing the plan. He prepared for a long time, studying the city, studying uh, English football, studying the history of the club, a lot of prep went in, and uh, I think it showed in this presser. We know that, you know, Manchester, they've got their academies that they come in and they poach, you know, a lot of our uh, local athletes. We have to figure out how to get them back. I'm not afraid of that. Are you? No. Okay. <laughs> See, you're part of the team already. <laughs> and, and what kind of owner will you be? Yesterday there was a question asked to me about what really qualifies you not financially, but from performance to be able to take over a team. From the football club that we have in the United States, I've owned it for 10 years. We've been in the playoffs nine out of 10. We won a championship. We won our US Open Cup. We were the runners up last year. We were sort of America's team because everybody's rooting for this underdog against a lot of these Goliaths. Fierce fighter, never willing to quit. Buying a football club in the, in the UK is an American dream. Now we have to figure out how we're gonna win. Right. We're going to have to wrap, guys. I'm truly sorry. We're, we've got an appointment to keep with the foundation, but thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you very much. Um, we'll Appreciate see you all again soon. Thank you. Press conference that, that, that I think couldn't have gone better, resonated, I think, with a great group of uh, writers. Really enjoyed it. Oh, I'd rate today a 10. 
You don't have a lot of days that are tens. Today was a, it was clearly a ten. He then went to one of our foundation events, our charity, one of our community initiatives. We run Walking Football, which is it's a walking speed football game that helps people who've maybe got a, a physical ailment or of a certain age. Some of the health statistics in Kirkley's, when you get the chance to have a look into them, Kevin, they're pretty frightening. Are they? Yeah. But, you know, that whole issue of being overweight, loneliness, uh, type 2 diabetes, and, and really just a lot for now, particularly post-COVID as well, that mental health side of it, it is their opportunity to come out and engage in an activity. It, it was clear that Kevin wanted to make that point almost by being there, that because he's new and because it'll bring new things, it doesn't mean that the community work that Huddersfield Town has done over years is going to stop. If anything, it's just going to... Uh, grow from here because it's free of charge it, really, it, it takes away that barrier I, I think this is fantastic I do um, I think that we were just talking about how you how you're able to expand this you know and do you have the means to span, expand it we do all of that through accessing grants from other charities ultimately we want to provide for these people in Kirkley's and the more that the club and the charity can do together it, it benefits everybody he has this mentality like I'm gonna help people win. He wants everyone to have the opportunities that A, maybe he didn't have, or B, that he had to work hard. And all of, I think, the personality that develops after that mental toughness. You have to have money that helps drive it, but you need the right people. And I think this is an example. I think this is, this is a wonderful program. There's many different forms of success for Huddersfield Town if you're a fan. First and foremost is success on the pitch, so uh, you can be as good as you want to be off the pitch, but if you're not winning games, then that's a big problem. But I think the club is more than just what happens on the pitch. So if we can make a positive impact on the lives of the people in our area, I think that's definitely a sign of success.